Hi there, I'm Greg Nader, and today we're still at SEMA, day four. It's been a great, great show, and I'd love to talk about some of the Sonex 4L60, 4L60E parts. Uh, we have a, a great display of parts here, and one of the big things that comes up uh, whenever we uh, talk about our parts is a lot of, there's a lot of 4L60 haters out there who say, just put a 4L80 in there. I'd like to address that a little bit. And in my opinion, you know, there will always be applications where the 4L80 is the preferred choice, but a lot of times size, application, for whatever reason, the 4L60 is the, the better fit for the unit. If you need it to stand up to power, we have the parts to do it. And the, really the bottom line, as far as I'm concerned, is if you're having problems with the 4L60, keeping it alive, there's something wrong with the build. And it really doesn't take a lot of rocket science. Sometimes less is more, just the right parts and the right application. A good, clean build, and they hold up really well. One of our featured vehicles that we've talked about quite often, and the reason we emphasize it, is the hated Cyclone. You know, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, 900 horsepower, all-wheel drive, being autocross, being drag race, start-stop competitions, three years on the same trans, rock and solid. And, you know, it's just a testament that how well all these things work together. Um, can even talk about, uh, you know, General Motors with the 4L70 transmissions. For the, the performance aftermarket, they've created a new version of the transmission called the 4L75. The purpose of this was to have a unit with increased torque capacity that could overlap with 4L80, but fit in spaces where the 4L80 wouldn't. And how did General Motors create this 4L75 transmission? They did it by using these parts here, here, servos, shift valve, etc., all work together to increase the torque capacity of those units. And then we have additional parts like the 284 Planet that changes from a 306 first gear ratio, which isn't needed with today's power, to a more reasonable 284 first gear that can upgrade beyond the uh, 4L75. One of our New items we're really excited to show off is our heavy duty overrun clutch hub. It's twice as thick as the OE here. Of course, the OE brakes under load, uh, deceleration loads from engine braking with high compression engines and so on. Um, it's a really nice billet piece, and that's just the latest component we've added to the, the wide range of 4L60E parts we have. Of course, they're all featured in our volume four 4L60E catalog. This has build guides for different levels of performance and some great tech in information in there and what it takes to make a 4L60E live at big power. So check out this and all our other 4L60 products at our website, sonics.com, and thanks for watching today.